And he's there. And wherever humanity gropes for that universal meaning of life, he is there. He is everywhere, for he is Commander USA. From the depths of suburbia far below a teeming shopping mall, just inches away from mankind, Commander USA enters his video vault to bring you action, adventure, and zany non-stop thrills. Join us now as we proudly present Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Today's Groovy Movies, Man and the Monster. And Simon, King of the Witches. And now, Commander USA! Whoa, hey, hey! Uh, Commander USA here, soaring superhero. Legion of Decency. <laughs> well, I'm glad you showed up today. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun, boy. All kinds of things going on. Boy, the mall is jumping, all kinds of fuss milling around. Oh, it's great, boy. Hey, did you have a good 4th of July? Oh, yeah, me too, but hey, it's not over yet. Oh, no, because I got all kinds of groovy things planned right here in the bowl thing. And I'm not just talking about the groovy movies. Although, today, they're almost crushed groovy, boy, because we got Abel Salazar back. Yeah, our old pal. What? I'm going to have like a, well, heck, a traditional 5th of July picnic right down here in the bowl. Oh, yeah, food and games and all kinds of prizes and stuff. A real special guest. Oh, yeah. You want to meet her? Let me get over to the merry-go-round wall here. Just a second. Yeah, let me get her open. Ah, here we go. Whoa. Presenting the lady of the harbor, Miss Liberty. Liberty. Smile, is you wrong? You look, you're tired. What's the yeah. matter? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I'm poor. Oh, Libby, no. Hey, take it easy, Lib. No, it's going to be all right. Come on. It's it's a responsibility. I mean, this huddled mass is yearning to be free. Please, I just can't handle it. Listen, why don't you just calm down, relax, have a seat. I'll fix you up something over here, all right? Yeah, I'll fix you up a burfo cell, so it'll be great. Whoa! Holy shit! Sure. <laughs> you like that, eh? Well, that perked you right up. Hey, we'll be in the mood for the groovy movies now, boy, won't you? Yeah, let me get the telepsychotronic screen heat and radiation shield open here. Take a look at this. impressive, isn't it? Oh, the groovy movies today are unbelievable, too, boy. Like I told you, that's right, our old pal Abel Salazar, direct from Cherubusco, Azteca. Yeah, he's back with the man and the monster. Here, take a look. Whoa! Yeah, see, this is like it's about a classical musician who's out of tune with life, you know? Yeah, and he gets hit with kind of a, what's a kind of a double whammy Oedipal complex. Yeah, he's having trouble with his mommy and his mummy. <laughs> Oh, and then his girlfriend finds out what an animal he is, and the first starts flying, boy. Oh! And then the second feature of the day, are you ready to go back in time? Yeah, we're going back now, boy. Back to the days of witches and warlocks and magic spells and macrame. That's right, back to the 1960s with Simon, King of the Witches. Whoa, now look at this guy, see? Yeah, it's our old pal, Andrew Prime. Sure, you know now, this is about a bunch of hippies, see, in the underground. I'm not talking political underground here either. Ah, right, boy, these guys live in a storm sewer out in L.A. Oh, yeah, you remember Ultraviolet? Yeah, she gets a lot of exposure in it. Holy cat, yeah. Oh, no wonder she's always getting chest for Yeah, you can hear it in her voice, can't you? Okay, no more time to waste. Let's get right to our good buddy, Abel Salazar, starring in... The man and the monster.
please open the door. Open it. Open it. Get the key. The key is out there on the ground. Get the key and open the door. Hurry. What an idiot, stopping in the middle of the road. An accident just occurred in the road up ahead. There's a woman out there and she's badly hurt. Is there a phone here? Well, can I bring her here while I get help from the people in that small town there? Look, lady, you don't really understand. That poor girl might die. Please help me. Yes, did you see that car that she wrecked? Yeah, that had to be, what, a 55, 56 Ford? Boy, if you owned one of those cars today, well, heck, it'd probably still be tough to get parts for. Hey, and talking about parts, wait till you see what's coming up in this next bar, boy. Yeah, we get to meet the maestro's mom. Oh, yeah, she's a real stage mother. She'll be getting into her maniac stage right after this. Whoa. It's like a hundred others. Mr. Sandro, she had an accident. Nothing more than an accident. I don't think the poor girl could control her car. She got all those cuts when she bumped her head. But I told you she wasn't in the car when I got here. She was over there. Mr. Sandro, you're wrong. I know about this sort of thing, and when I tell you it was an accident, accept it. The girl didn't stay in her car, because she needed medical care. When you got here, she heard your engine and returned. It's as easy as that. 
Listen, I probably got more problems in town. They took her car away, so I don't see why I should stay here. I scared you, Laura, I know. Oh, Maestro, it was horrible. I'm sorry. I was only dreaming, I know now. But I saw a face. No, Laura. You shouldn't say it. Don't speak about it. You ought to get some sleep now, Laura. Remember that within a very few days, you're going to need all of your courage and all of your energy. Your nervousness must disappear, young lady. Yes, Maestro. You seem so completely run down. Boy, your face is pasty white. I'll look better as soon as I hear the crowd applauding to show its approval. You get to sleep now. And try to rest. Because you need it, Laura. Go on to bed. No, I'm not tired. It's very late, son. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. it. It just keeps happening, though I try. Did you hear me? It's too much. Oh, Lord, when can I have peace? Richard's son, your home is in the city. You want to see the fair, don't you? No. I came to see a very important person in your town, my friend. Oh, yeah, you must mean Joe Hadley. He has a dairy ranch here. Samuel Manning, the famous musician. Musician? He was a great piano player. Years ago, he retired to live here. I guess the man wanted to find peace. Well, it seems to me you're on a wild goose chase. I know the townspeople, and I've never seen that guy. No? That's strange. Samuel Manning, Enchanted Ranch, here in this village. Enchanted Ranch? Then you mean the one... You really want to go out to that guy's house? Oh, sure, why not? Well, I'd say you're a brave man, then. Why? You betcha. You sure got guts, because here the townspeople are all frightened to go there. They want nothing to do with it. They say the old woman's a witch, sir. You don't mean it. <laughs> I know her. I'll see you tomorrow, so I'll watch my step. Did you get all my things out? Cosmo. Cosmo, take the gentleman's things to number 22. Sure, Joe. My machine. Isn't there a telephone in this room? 
No, sir, there isn't. But tomorrow I'll change it to the room that's upstairs, and there's one there. But the boss has to say so first. Then I'll mention it. Thanks. Sleep well, sir, and good night. Good night, now. Hey, Commander USA here. Here to tell you about my newest groovy movie giveaway. Yeah, you can win a fabulous all-expense-paid weekend for two in Los Angeles at the luxurious Bates Motel. As seen in Universal Pictures' new movie thriller, Psycho 3. Look, don't worry. Aside from total boredom, nothing's gonna happen to you here. I figured Bates was a geek, but a full-fledged Looney Tune? Norman! I'll get you for this, mother. Boy. Yeah, 100 callers are going to win Psycho 3 shower radios. And the grand prize winner is going to receive an all-expense-paid trip for two to Los Angeles. That's three days and two nights in the Bates Motel on the actual Psycho set at the Universal Studio lot. Yeah, it'll have a real working shower. It'll be cabin number one. Yeah, that's right, where Janet checked in in Psycho and didn't check out. Of course, a weekend at the Bates Motel is going to include meals and a rent-a-car from Hertz and a tour of the Universal Studios, $100 in cash, and heck, I don't know what else. By the way, your travel will be arranged by Hoffman Travel of Beverly Hills. I can't have that sort of thing going on in my motel. Here's the place of bad name. Okay, Alan, tell them all about it. Keep watching today's Groovy Movies for Commander USA's secret Groovy Movie Giveaway phone number. Oh. Hey, whatever you do, stay away from the ice machine. I'm letting live, so are you, you understand? Whoa. Are you here? Who are you? You broke in. Please forgive me for intruding like this, Maestro. I heard and I hated to interrupt her. Our concert agency is anxious to arrange the details. I'm Richard Sandro, the representative, I and I think that all the details have been arranged. This Friday, you'll be able to watch and hear her at the conservatory in the city. Hear her? In that case, this young lady is. After this Friday, they'll call her the best pianist in the world, sir. She is now. But the whole world is waiting to hear her. At that moment, I'll conduct the orchestra. Won't you play too? No, no. I can't play any longer. My hands tremble so. So her triumph will be my reward. Hey, that portrait is really great. It's her, right? No. No, it's not her. It's not her? I almost could swear that I've seen her before. She? She is the, uh... uh get out of this now. It's a pleasure to see you. Permit me, Mr. Sandro. No, it isn't necessary. The truth is, I met her late last night only under unfortunate circumstances. Actually, the way things turned out, it was a lost cause from the beginning, frankly. Since the poor woman died immediately after I... Get out! Right now! But, Maestro, 
I can't go back to the city before I get the data I'll be needing later on for her presentation. What you'll be playing? I need a name also. How you discovered her? I told you. Please go. Maestro, it's important for us. The local hotel is best. Room 22. Yes. Yes, at room 22. But please, my mother's upset now. Goodbye. We must practice that third movement now. Put more strength in your playing. Make it livelier, too. Come on. Excitement all over the place today. Yeah, there's a new store just opened up in the mall. It's called the Yuppie Puppy. Yeah, it's great. It's for young urban pet owners, you know? Yeah, like, you remember when people used to dress their pets in, like, little booties and sweaters and all that cute little stuff? Yeah, well, now, heck, you can go down and pick up some leather jogging shoes for them. Little headbands and stuff. Heck, they even got this T-shirt that says, What's your pedigree? Ah, oh, man, heck, even the doghouse isn't a doghouse anymore. No, they got this thing that's kind of, well, I don't know, it looks kind of, well, it's kind of a delicate balance between form and function. Yeah, they call it the Bauhaus. <laughs> you get it? Well, give it to me. Hey, we'll get back to the movie right after this, okay? Okay. Samuel Manning, although he's famous, is still courteous his enchanting mother. And she asked me to stay for dinner. Undoubtedly, Manning's protege will create a sensation. She has the temperament that's needed and her strong character. Come in. Mr. Sandro, telephone for you. Who's speaking? Huh? Yes. Uh, I was just finishing a report on it for you. Sure. She's extraordinary. No. Listen, boss, Samuel Manning's student is a great pianist, I know. I'm serious. Sure I was. All morning long, I listened. Yeah. No. I guarantee that the reappearance of Samuel Manning will be a sensation. No, because I'm leaving early. Okay. See you soon. I have to talk to you. Mother! Mother! Laura isn't anywhere around. Well, remember, it's Monday. She went to do the marketing. Don't get so excited. Why did you let her do it? Don't you know that we're going to go tomorrow? Why take such a risk? What's got you worried? She'll be completely safe today. So don't get excited. Tomorrow we'll forget this horrible town as well as the people. I can see that you're starting to get restless. Calm down, son. Mother. Only a moment, that's all. I know. You can't play. It wasn't sufficient last night, was it? You know that I only do it for you. You want me to play, isn't that right? 
Please go, Samuel. Go outside. Let me, Mother. I can't fight the urge to play. You must let me play. I'll take my punishment. Let me. You're my mother, and you're cruel to me. My hands tremble because you're so mean. Blame me, that's right. Blame your own mother, go ahead. It was my fault when you asked me to buy your soul. Was it my fault, Samuel? No. Blame your own monstrous ambition. You long to be known as the greatest musician, which you are, son. But now you're paying, right? Go on and carry your cross. Exciting now, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And this next part is a pip, boy. Yeah, you see, the maestro goes to his mummy for advice. Yeah, but she doesn't want to get involved. You know what? She's petrified. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to the man and the monster right after this, okay? You put a spell on me, baby. A new life begins. What could be more... But he only plays late at night. And he finishes with this weird melody. Uh, I'll admit that it's strange, but it's... But it's also fantastically beautiful. I really don't understand why he told you that he couldn't play anymore. Why did you feel that you had to come and tell me all this? I couldn't say, only maybe I feel a responsibility. But there's another thing. That house is lonely. I get scared, especially at night. Something happened today that really surprised me. When you left the house, she threw her son an awful glance that made me shudder. The poor man started to tremble, too. Well, obviously, the mother has you terrified, no doubt about it. Why not leave the house, then? Why do you stay there? I must stay there. They helped me to get started. The maestro is such a fine person, too. He relies on me as his student to fulfill his hopes. Since I look like the woman that's in that little portrait in the study, maybe I really do have talent. No. I guarantee that you'll be a great revelation this season, Laura. And I know since I've been many years in this business, and believe me, I know good playing. And it means a lot to me to hear you say it. But it's getting late. I should go home now. I don't want to get his mother started again. Well, I'm glad that you show such confidence in me, Laura. I'm sure that there's some way to speak to the maestro alone. But you mustn't say that... That you were here with me? Don't worry about it. Thank you. Mr... Dick is all. All right, Dick. Thank you.
Coca U, a Coca E, a Coca V, a Coca Wouldn't you like to be a Coca Two? I a Coca Lee, I a Coca. Well, yeah, we'll get back to the movie right after this, okay? Okay. Whoa. It's that man that was here this morning. He got in somehow, found Alexandra, and robbed the musical score. No, it's not possible. Then I must go to see him right now. I'll explain the whole story. You can't go. Are you crazy, son? I know what's best. Go and play your piano. Now? Why must I go and play now? What a question. You're restless and that calms you. No, Mother. Not right now. But why must I play it now? I can't do it, Mother. I can't do it. Tell her no. Tell her I can't do it. Tell her I don't want to play. No! pianist in the world. No, it's true. <laughs> and my fingers are moved by a superior power. He's invulnerable. <laughs> you know well what that great power is. Right, Alexander? <laughs> musician stood in a corner, his soul sickened with envy. You had triumphed. 
The applause of a public wild with joy was like a great engulfing wave. You had the world at your feet. You stood calmly by your piano, acknowledging their applause, like a beautiful Greek god, savoring every drop of a rare wine. And the dribbling moron, Samuel Manning, <laughs> always in the shadows, always stumbling and failing. The receiver of sad, condescending expressions stood in a corner trembling with rage and envy. Do you really exist out there? Other men say that they can invoke you. If it's true that you will allow us all things if we sell you our souls and bow to your power, I invoke you. Give me great talent. I want to play as no one else has ever played. I'll do anything you say. I give you anything you ask. Show that you heard. Give me one signal that will show me that you accept my offer. My call was heard. Yes. Yes. I'll do the way you say then. Yes. Tonight we love. Hey. Whoa! Holy cats! How'd you get to Carnegie Hall? Uh, try to cross down 57th Street bus. Sure, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Holy cats. <sighs> Better get back to the man and the monster right after this. She did the mask. She did the monster. Samuel the idiot went to your dressing room. He was another person. He was what I am now. And I had turned that intangible thing called the soul over to the devil. It's a pleasure to see you, Manny. Tonight you weren't in the audience. Did you enjoy the concert? You came and I probably know why. You want to know where I got the score I played? Well, this will surprise you, dear. Tonight I played it through, although I hadn't rehearsed it. It appears that it was placed by a stranger on my piano. It's fantastically beautiful, isn't it? I'll have to think up a title for it. The composer left it unnamed. The composer chose to stay anonymous also. You make me uneasy. M Manning, that look on your face is disconcerting. You're like a madman. What is it? But you... What's the matter? body to that closet to hide it from inquiring eyes. You were the only person to have the privilege of listening to the greatest musical genius in the world.
Samuel. There was no need to lock it. Come out, Samuel. Samuel. Samuel, come out. Samuel. Samuel. <laughs> Why did you shout? Don't you recognize your own s <laughs> Is there so much difference between a perpetual failure and the best pianist in the whole world? <laughs> you never did think that my hands were fast enough to turn out such... Oh, <laughs> hey, Excuse me, now I was just going over my autobiography. Ah, sure. Call it my groovy life, you know? Ah, oh, it's a swell thing, boy. Kind of put me in mind of an old buddy of mine. Yeah, it's called the Evaporator. Oh, he was unbelievable, boy. He was, he, he had the special ability. See, he could just kind of constrict the cellular mass of his body, leaving only the fluid elements. Oh, yeah, he was really something, boy. And then if the temperature was just right, you know, he could, like, change himself into a gaseous mass and just disseminate through the crowd. Oh, yeah, if there was ever a bomb scare or anything, boy, he was the one to call. Yeah, he could clear a room faster than a house detective. <laughs> hey, we'll get back to the movie right after this, okay? Okay. Your success. Uh, do you understand? Do you understand? Now, I'm much greater than she is. <laughs> Did you do that to uh, 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 Anthony, did you uh, kill that girl? Me, uh, don't get close to me. <laughs> what caused all this? What is it that you've done? But don't you understand, Mother? Don't you understand what this all means? He does. Yes, he does. <laughs> but... Your mind is gone, son. Why did you associate with that creature? Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Don't touch me. Is something wrong? Why didn't I stay in the theater? I don't recall coming here to the house. What is it that you can recall, then? Can't you recall any details? Let's see. I was at the theater listening to that marvelous concert with Alexandra seated at the piano. That fabulous applause that echoed in the hall. She stood there as they applauded, stood there as a queen does.
nothing matters anymore. You go on through the years in that seat in solitude and forgotten, ignored by the whole world, witnessing my success. <laughs> You'll be my only audience. Unfortunately, another one has discovered the secret. Uh, uh, uh. Open the door. Let me out of here. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door, you old hag. Open it, do you hear? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Sandro, I changed you to another room, sir. You're in number 26 now. There's a phone there. 26? Yeah, it's on the second floor. Traditional Fifth of July type picnic. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're having a good time here. I live, you're having a good time. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Mm. You know, something tells me you got the holiday blues. You're in kind of a funk, huh? Jeez, it's, uh... Something tells me you're having a problem with an interpersonal relationship. Is that it? Is it that obvious? Well, you're carrying it, too. No, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, listen, I know what would cheer you up. How about a real picnic-type game, you know? Hey, maybe we could have a three-legged race. Yeah, I could find a piece of rope, and we could kind of, you know... Why don't we have a sack race? A sack race? Holy yeah. cat! Hey, that's a great idea. I love sack... Well, you know, the problem is they only have one sack, you know? Well, that's okay. We could, you know, make it into a mural. <laughs> oh, hey, we better get back to the movie, eh? Hey, you're not a pro, are you? Because you're a greater pianist than I, Laura. That's 
fool, Samuel, was teaching you, and you've learned entirely too much. So now you have to pay the consequences. I'm the greatest pianist in the whole world. You hear? Come near me. Don't you dare touch me. I don't want you near. No, please, Mother. I don't want you near. Don't touch me, Mother. Take your hand away. Someone has been hurt. Who was it tonight? It's nothing, son. You hurt no one. I, I think that you've forgotten that we'd be traveling to the city today. I thought that I... Son, it'll be morning soon. We'll be on the road many hours. And Laura? I'll wake her up and tell her. You'd better prepare your things now. Commando USA here. Here to tell you about my newest movie, Movie Giveaway. Yeah, you can win a fabulous all-expense-paid weekend for two in Los Angeles at the luxurious Bates Motel. As seen in Universal Pictures' new movie thriller, Psycho 3. Look, don't worry. Aside from total boredom, nothing's gonna happen to you here. Mother! I figured Bates was a geek, but a full-fledged Looney Tune? Norman! I'll get you for this, Mother. You have got the guts, boy. Whoa. Yeah, 100 callers are going to win Psycho 3 shower radios. And the grand prize winner is going to receive an all-expense-paid trip for two to Los Angeles. That's three days and two nights in the best motel on the actual Psycho set at the Universal Studio lot. Yeah, it'll have a real working shower, and it'll be cabin number one. Yeah, that's right, where Janet Lee checked in in Psycho and didn't check out. Plus, your weekend at the Bates Motel is going to include meals and a rent-a-car from Hertz and a tour to Universal Studios, $100 in cash, and heck, I don't know what else. By the way, your travel will be arranged by Hoffman Travel of Beverly Hills. I can't have that sort of thing going on in my motel. Here's the place of bad name. Okay, Alan, tell them all about it. Keep 
watching today's Groovy Movies for Commander USA's secret Groovy Movie Giveaway phone number. Oh. Hey, whatever you do, stay away from the ice machine. I'm letting it live, so are you, you understand? Whoa. Laura, come out. Come out, Laura. He tried to murder me. He tried to murder me. Quiet down, Laura. He's gone now. Another thing, we're going this morning. In just a few minutes. Right now? But I'd like to go into town before leaving. To town? To say goodbye to some friends. There's no need to say goodbye to anyone. You must forget this place and the people because they're bad. Hurry. Prepare your things now. Just... You wouldn't believe me when the girl had that accident. That's why he came here tonight. But listen, what's that all got to do with the strange intruder that you fought? The girl was only in an automobile accident. I'm sure there's a connection. What's it got to do with a crazy... Crazy, you say? It's a monstrosity. Well, okay, a monster. A demon, because it sure wasn't immortal. What's the difference, a monster or a demon or anything? Tell me now, has this got any connection with that... Well, that house out there? I'd like you to explain, please. I said there was a possibility, that's all. You see, friend? But just the same, it's worth looking into. We will. Come on. Samuel. No, Mother. No. Please tell her I can't, Alexandra. Please say no. In there. She's in that room. Cause to worry now, Sandra. The dead girl turned into a black cat. I'd sure like to know where they went, though. I wish I hadn't let you talk me into breaking into this man's house. I could get sued for it. Look, Bill, go out there and put that door back in place. I won't be long. Just a moment. It's getting late, Sandro. Look at this portrait. The woman's a real knocker. Who is it? It's Alexandra Meyer, the greatest pianist in the world. Disappeared a few years back and never returned. Uh-huh. And? It's her body that was in there. Perfect. Perfect. But then you won't do anything? Sure, I'm going to do something. My bed is waiting. But, but...
Do I pass the test, then? You're simply beautiful, dear. She looks exactly like Alexandra. I'd better get ready. There's not much time now. And you come along, too, so that Laura can finish dressing. We've won. My fate is due to change when she plays tonight. I'll be free, won't I? As long as you're sure, my son. Wait here while I get ready. You look fine. what I destroyed at last. My penance has ended. She's really as great a pianist as you were when I killed you. But I won't play again. There's no other way. It's yours now. You should have it with you. So I'll burn it and mix its ashes with your ashes. Then I'll hide you in this box and care for you. You know what this is? No, not this. This. Yeah, it's a fan. Oh, it's about the fan club, you get it? Oh, well, sure. I want you to send in for your official fan club card. Ah, it's simple. So all you gotta do, see, is send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Commander USA Fan Club, Post Office Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. And we'll send one right out to you, okay? Make sure you get the official Commander USA fan club and not some phony or cheap imitation. There's a lot of them been flooding the country these days, okay? And as soon as you get it, make sure you sign it right on the back with your official name. All right. Once you've done that, boy, everybody will know that you're certified. Sure, certifiable as a member of the USA Fan Club. Okay, get your request in right away. I'll be looking for it. See ya.
Tchaikovsky is difficult, right? Yes, I can't find the right key. You could, couldn't you? Yes. And also, I'm going to show you how to play this part. Your trouble is that you're not using the correct fingers. Look here. Uh -huh. This one here. Then the second. Second. That's the girl. Over to Doe. Finger placement is very important to Tchaikovsky. I'd like to hear you. No. I don't play any longer. Now try it once more. No, you play for me now. all doing in here? Laura. Laura, darling, are you sick? The monster! The monster just killed the little girl who was downstairs! Maestro, you sure you didn't see anything? Sure, I didn't see what? Yes. The same monster. I was lucky I made it on time. I came to wish you and the maestro complete success in your debut evening. Tonight you'll demonstrate your talent to the world. So forget this incident for now. You'll need all your self-control and powers of concentration to face the public. Dick, thanks a lot. I couldn't have fought a second longer, and you made the monster escape just in time. Will you please go now, and leave us alone? I'll go to the theater. Lots of luck, Laura.
It was nice to see you once again. Well, good night, Maestro. <laughs> you know, Liberty, you kind of remind me of my first wife. Oh, yeah, she went through a whole complete renovation, too, yeah. Yeah, like I remember when we used to be courting and sparking. Yeah, she called me firecracker. Said I had a short fuse. <laughs> yeah, she finally took a powder. Made me feel like a dud. Hey, we'll get back to the movie right after this. Hey, okay. Hey, this is funny. I'm going to speak with you right now. And she might discover us any moment, Laura. Just a while ago, I unraveled this whole mystery. But... Now, you listen to me, or you could be killed. No. <gasps> girl was killed. Tonight, when that child... But why, Dick? Tell me why. Do you think you could play this melody? Yes. I couldn't forget it in ten years. I heard it continually during those long days. Because he'd play it ten times over. Dick, right now it's pounding in my ears. In that case, you'll do it the way I planned it. Try to have faith in me, Laura. Try to have faith in me, Laura.
to the Commander USA song right after this. In a raincoat and dark glasses. Oh, hey. I just got back. I had a message on my machine here from folk singer Frank. Oh, you remember him. Yeah, folk singer Frank up in the mall. Yeah, he's that guy that sits up there and plays his guitar, you know, has the case out in front of him. People come by, throw some money in, take some money out. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, you've seen him. Yeah, well, he left me a message. He's, I guess he's home. Must be kind of important, though. I that way anyway. Let me bring him in here. Whoa, hey, there you are. Hey, folk singer Frank. Boy, it's been a long time. Well, how are you doing, Commander? It's hey, not to too you. bad, boy. Keeping my nose in the wind, huh? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, you know. Uh... I had a little slow period at the mall last week. Hey, uh, that happens to us, you know. Yeah, now and then, you know, uh, more people were taken out than putting in. Ah. Uh, but then I've somebody came by. Yeah. And he tossed in a quarter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, this this gave me some kind of inspiration. Oh, and, uh, a little hope, huh? Yeah, something <laughs> came to mind. Something came to so mind. So what'd you do? Write a song about yeah. getting a quarter? No, I wrote a song about uh, something almost like a quarter. Yeah. I mean, uh, but but a lot better, actually. You know, modesty would prevent you from uh, really appreciating what the song's about <clears throat> till I do it. I, I wrote a ballad about a famous American folk hero. Oh, no kidding. Hop yeah. along, Cassidy. Uh, close. Yeah? Uh, yeah, well, this guy flew instead of rode a horse. Oh. Know. Can you guess? Well? Well, let me tell you the title of it. Can you huh? guess? Okay. It's called The Ballad of Commander USA. Do you believe it? What? Yeah. Commander, you you mean me? Well, Holy you're the only Commander USA I know. <laughs> hey, that's great. Holy cow. Hey, I'd like to hear it. You think you could sing it right oh, here? Oh, sure. What do you think folk singers are in business for? Hey, great. Sing ballads. <laughs> here it goes. Okay. And I want everybody, all your fans and admirers, to join in on the chorus of this. Oh, you hear that? Okay. okay, we'll join him, sure. Okay, join on in. In a raincoat and dark glasses through the shopping mall He passes undetected as he mingles in the crowd Hey! He's a former superhero headed down below ground zero If those people knew, they all would shout out loud <laughs> Commander USA, USA He's here to save the day, save the day He may have diminished powers, but he'll fly us through the hour and a super psychotronic kind of way. Holy cats! Behind a hidden wall, underneath the shopping mall, tucked away as secret as can be, is a psychotronic screen, a groovy video machine. It's the greatest thing the world has ever All seen. Right. Commander USA, USA, he's here to save the day, save, save the day. day. Have diminished powers, but he'll fly us three hours in a super psychotronic kind of way. <laughs> Safe from danger and assault, in his secret video vault, he's winding film with Lefty every day. 
The commander's mighty choosy. He won't pick just any old movie, but heck, I bet you knew that anyway. Sure. Commander USA, USA. He's here to save the day, save the day. He may have diminished powers, but he'll fly us through the hours in a super psychotronic kind of way. Okay. Okay. That's it, Commander. Hey. Your ballot. <clears throat> hey. Hey, I tell you, folk singer Frank, boy, that, that is terrific. Well, nice to see you again, Commander. Well, I'm really excited. Hey, yeah, listen, we'll have to talk some more, right? Maybe we can make a video out okay. of this or something. Well, next time, just don't take so much money out of my case. You know, oh, hey, you're Commander. only kidding me, aren't you, FF? Oh, sure, sure. Okay, boy. Thanks hey, listen, I've got to get back to the movie now. Okay, good to see you again. Yeah, let's stay in touch, eh? Okay, bye. Hey, that folk singer Frank, that's something, eh? Commander USA, USA. I like it. Hey, let's get back to the movie, huh? I like that, too. Simon. I live in a storm drain. When it rains, most people go in, but I go out. Some people call me a warlock, but I really am one of the few true magicians. Thank you. 